Hi everyone and thank you so much for coming and watching another one of my videos. This video is on... So when I decided that I wanted to become a fashion stylist, I was lucky enough to be able to study at London College of Fashion. Um, I studied the introduction into fashion styling for media. Um, my lecturer taught us so many key skills which I'm passing on to you. One of them was to have a stylist kit. Now you would be surprised how essential this kit is. Um, it's something that I had on my first shoot. So to answer your big question, I'm going to list out all of the key things that you need for your stylist kit. Well, the main thing is really getting a bag, um, at least before you start thinking about what goes in it. I've had this bag for years and years, and if you've worked with me, you've seen this poor little tattered bag. I love it because it's got a long strap, which I can, you know, put across my body. Um, and also this bag can fit just about anything in it. I got a small bag like this um, from Primark years ago. My mentor, she actually had a bum bag, um, which basically you can just easily hands-free have it around your waist um, and stuff whatever you want in it. It's obviously easy to reach. It all depends on what works for you. So the first thing that I feel that you need for your kit would be some of these bad boys which are these lovely, lovely pins. Now, these have saved my life on numerous occasions. Make sure that you get an assorted box full of big pins and really small pins. It's really important to sometimes be able to pin, you know, clothing to your model so that it just fits perfectly. This is a good way of manipulating the clothes so that it can look the way that you want it to look. And then the second thing that I think that you need for your kit would be clamps. Now, here are the assortment of sizes. So these are like crocodile clips. So this is like a large one. Uh, this is like a medium. And this is a teeny weeny small one. Not sure if you can uh, see it. Um, and then also, the clothesline ones, the clamps, don't really work too well for me. Some people have recommended that. Not for me. Um, I actually prefer these. They are easy to manipulate. Um, it actually doesn't puncture the clothes, which is even better, to be honest. These are key. Um, I've been able to get these at Hobbycraft. I can't remember how much for. Um, I will try and put it down in the, um, the details in the comments below. Um, but these definitely are a must-have. Now the third thing, it may actually surprise you. I'm not going to hold it up because we all know what it looks like. Now it's important for you to have tampons and panty liners on a shoe. Now um, unfortunately Mother Nature does turn up when we least expect it and also sometimes models are, you know, in the zone of Mother Nature and they've come to a shoot, you need to protect your clothes. That's the main thing. You know, it's a part of life anyways, um, and it's better to be prepared for it than not at all. Now, the fourth thing that I think you need is this bad boy here, which is double-sided tape. Let me just get real DJ Khaled on you guys. This is major key, major key alert. <laughs> no, this has helped me on so many different occasions. You know, this has prevented nip slips, to even when I've had celebrity clients and they just want a mini boob job. This literally lift, can lift boobs. This lifts boobs, guys. It works for so much. I mean, we I, I've actually done a shoot um, in the past with uh, one of my friends and we had petals and we decided to do a, an amazing beauty shoot and we needed to, you know, have these petals just dancing all over the model's body. 
this is what kept those petals on. You know, we were able to manipulate the petals and put them wherever. Now the fourth thing that you would need is masking tape. Unfortunately, I've run out, probably because the photographers used it more than I have, but it's a major to use it for these. Now, if you actually look at the sole of these shoes, you'll see all the damage right here. Now, this was used once in a studio, not outside, in the studio, and that's what happened. So with the masking tape, it's a little skill to actually line it up and lay it on the sole of the shoe. Once the shoe is done, all you literally do is carefully peel it right off and the sole stays brand new. This is such a good trick. It works for outdoor shoots and it works for studio shoots. Masking tape's really important to protect these soles so you can get the, you know, the most use out of these. Don't underestimate it. Now the sixth thing that I think you need in your kit is these. Now these are nipple covers. It could be whether the item is see-through, it could be whether the item is nude, it could be whether it's white. It could be whether the client is going backless, you know, photo shoot, events, red carpet, whatever it is, these are so good. Now, when it comes to see-through items, putting this on, there's a little trick where sometimes you can pat, you know, makeup on. Um, that's really good. This also helps with the photoshopping process for the photographer. It makes it easier to photoshop out a nipple um, or a nip slip anyways um this is also good for smoothing you know whether it's events uh, a red carpet event this is really good because you know we don't want this happening so um yeah this is really good another thing that i think you need is a lint roller you can get them in most closed stores um this literally picks up all the dust and the fluff and the bubbles on an item Another important thing for you to have is a sewing kit. This is your needle, this is your thread, this is like tiny buttons, or scissors, or whatever it is, all that you need. Um, I'm not a fashion designer myself. Um, I've never really been taught how to sew, but I think it's really important on the job, even to practice before how to sew. You're gonna be put in situations where you may have to sew someone's dress up you know, a zip may be broken, there may be a rip, there may be a cutout that your client wants to now be closed, there may be a plunge in a dress which is just too deep. All those situations you may be put into and you're gonna have to sew it up. I was put in such a crazy situation, I think it was my first, when I had these dancers which were gonna be performing at an award show. The jumpsuit was perfect, but it had like two big cutouts on the side which were, too provocative for my client and after that I thought to myself do you know what I need to learn how to do this so you've really got to be prepared and have that tool to be able to sew so the next thing that I think that you really need for your kit is stain removal wipes you know accidents happen on shoots whether it's makeup whether it's Hopefully not food. Never let a model eat in the clothes. These are really, really, really good for getting off um, stains. So thank you so much again for watching. I'm hoping that this video can help give you the tools to become a great fashion stylist. You know, this can work for whether you're doing an editorial with a, um, you know, with a model, whether you're doing a fitting with a client, whatever it is, this kit is so important for you to bring everywhere with you. I also like having my own um, belts that I bring, um, shoes, jewelry, um, you know, accessories, all of those other bits and pieces. This is where I thought it's really important that over time you start collecting and building up your own stylist wardrobe that you can use. I also have bought my own steamer. Um, I think I got it in Argos. I will try and put a similar link um, below. But having a steamer is also really important. And I would actually prefer to steam clothes than iron it because um, I've had a bad past with clothes burning. Um, so yeah, I always prefer to steam. So it's really good for you to invest in one of those for yourself. If you like this video, 
please don't forget to click the thumbs up and like it um if you have any ideas or any comments or you want me to do another video on a question that you have please don't forget to comment below most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my page and i will see you again soon bye